Hello and welcome to the first part of the GUTFT tutorial series. In this video we will be downloading and installing the GUTFT tool and connecting a GUTFT unit to said tool and sending an image to your GUTFT unit. Now to download the tool you need to open your web browser go to noritakeelect.com Once you're at our home page, mouse over support, head over to tools and click on tools. Now once you've landed onto the tools page, head over to GUTFT. This page lists all of the tools and code libraries that are associated with the GUTFT module. And GUTFT tool is exactly what we're looking for. And the reason why we're looking for the GUTFT tool is it handles images very well. Now I will say first, the GUTFT driver needs to be installed before the tool is installed, before the GUTFT module can be used with the tool or with your PC in general. And instructions on installing the GUTFT driver are in the description below. Now once your driver has been installed, head on over to the GUTFT tool page. Make sure that your system meets these system requirements and if they do, click on download. Download will start and you want to navigate to wherever the download was saved. In my case, it's going to be in the downloads folder since I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, your download may also be in the downloads folder or wherever you may have specified previously. Now we're left with a zip file. So with a zip file you want to extract all its contents with extract all. And by default it will extract everything to a folder of the same name as the zip file. So I will hit extract and it automatically opened the folder that it extracted everything to, which can also be seen right here within the downloads folder. You'll see the TFT tool setup file. You want to double click on that file and hit run. I'll be met with the TFT tool setup wizard. So hit next. Hit, hit I agree on the software conditions of use and hit next. You can specify wherever you'd like the installation to be placed. I will leave mine at default and hit next. I'll hit next again to start the installation. The installation will go fairly quickly and it's done. It's been successfully installed. I will hit close. Now to find this tool, the easiest way is to hit the Windows key and it'll either be listed here on your start menu and if it's not you can search TFT in the search bar and the TFT tool will pop up immediately you can click on TFT tool and it'll launch right up so now that our TFT tool is open we need to connect our TFT module to our computer now before we start doing that you need to make sure that your USB port is capable of delivering at least 700 milliamps to the module. You also want to make sure that Jumper JP1, which is located just above the TFT screen, right next to the micro USB port, is shorted with a pin jumper. Now once you've verified that your USB port can provide sufficient current, you want to plug your micro USB cable into your TFT module. Now that it's been connected, you want to find out exactly what serial port your module is connected to. Now, since the driver has been installed, you'll have a virtual COM port on your computer. Now to find this virtual COM port, you want to go to your device manager.
you want to scroll down to ports, expand ports, and you should have a USB virtual COM port under this listing. And to double check, because you may have more than one like I do, go to properties and check that the manufacturer is Noritake Itron. Now, my COM is COM23. So I'm going to go back over to the TFT tool, open the, the select port drop down menu, and select COM23. Since there were no error messages that popped up, I know that COM23 is my TFT module. Now we want to send an image to our connected display. So let's go and search for an image. Let's search Noritake iTron logo. Going over to images and let's select this image. Let's click on view image. We can right click and hit save image as. We'll save it into our downloads folder again. Now that it's been saved, we can head on back over to our TFT tool. Click on file, open image files. The dialog box has popped up and directed us to our downloads folder. If it has not, you need to make sure to direct yourself to your downloads folder so you can find the image that we just downloaded. Click on the image and hit open. You can see that the image has been loaded into our loaded images list and you can see it in the preview as well. Now the proportions are fairly similar to the original photo so I don't think any image transformations are necessary but if they are you can always change the, the image proportions. I will keep them the way they were. We can hit TFT module preview to actually display it on the module. So it's now been displayed on the module, and the image format that was just sent was a 16 bit RGB format, which is the fastest format for this module. You can see a difference if you choose bitmap, clear the display, and hit TFT module preview again. You can see that the image loads slower than the 16-bit RGB image. And there you have it. We downloaded and installed the GUTFT tool. We connected our TFT module to our PC and the tool and sent an image to the module. Now stay tuned for part two of this tutorial series and leave a comment below telling us how easy it was to send an image to your module. Thanks for watching.